cook a complete rib dinner and use the Holland as a steamer slow cooker. Of course the first thing you want to do is buy some nice ribs. I like the baby backs. I like to season them with both the Carolina seasoning for a salty flavor and then I add the chicken and chop rub to give it a little more spice. So let those sit out on the counter about a half an hour to knock the chill off the meat and absorb the seasonings. Now to lower the temperature on the Holland, we're going to fill the drip pan with a gallon of liquid. So the first thing you want to do is close off the drain valve so the water won't run out. Now I've already poured some liquid in here and for this um, cooking I'm going to use a mixture of half beer and half water. This drip pan will hold a full gallon of liquid and you pour it right up to the edge. Just make sure it does not go over the edge down into the burner. You can use apple juice and water, whatever you like. Now I'm going to light the grill, close the lid, and let it preheat. The goal is to keep this temperature low. I really want to keep it around 250, 275, so we'll show you how to do that later. Once you see steam coming out the chimneys, you're ready to put your ribs on the grill and again we're going to be cooking around 275 rather than the normal 400 425 that the grill cooks at so lay your ribs on the grill seasoned and these are going to just turn out fantastic total cooking time here should be about four hours close the lid and let them cook away now when you're steaming with the Holland the water or liquid's going to boil out or steam out, so you're going to have to add more liquid about every hour or so. So be sure to be around and nearby so you can add to the water. Once I've done that, I'll close the lid and continue cooking. They've cooked about an hour so far. To lower the heat more, you can move the grill in the shade, actually, and I'll use a, a little small block of wood maybe just to prop the lid open just a little bit to let some of that hot temperature out. The idea, remember, is to keep the low temperature on the grill. Around 250, 275 is ideal. Now after all that liquid has boiled out, you may have some remaining. You're going to have to um, drain any of the excess water. What I do, rather than drain it, I just let it steam out. And that way I don't have to worry about the hot liquid coming out the drain. So I'm going to remove my ribs now. And at this point, all the water has steamed out. We've cooked about three hours or so. I'm going to add some Flava Buds smoking chips just to give a little smoky flavor to those ribs. I'll use uh, the hickory flavor. Now I have some extra little bud boxes. Um, that I like to use. I don't want to give it more flavor so I'm going to stick them in the corners inside under the cooking grid. If you don't have these little boxes the little miniature pie pans will do. Now for the models that have a smoking drawer built in I also am going to add some hickory chips to that. We have several flavors to choose from. Hickory is always good with ribs so I fill that up too so now I'm smoking in three different places. I'll put my cooking grid back on and remember we're grilling at the regular temperature now of around 400 or so. All the liquid has evaporated. Close the lid and we're going to cook it oh, about another 45 minutes total. But in the meantime I'll probably add a little barbecue sauce and I'm also going to add some baked apples and some baked beans. You can see that smoke starting to come out really good now that they're smoking. So now I'm going to put my ribs back on after the grill starts smoking with the wood chips in it. And again, we'll total remaining cooking time is somewhere around 45 minutes. Those ribs are just looking wonderful. Some people like barbecue sauce, some people don't. So I'll put uh, barbecue sauce on one slab of ribs and just 
leave the dry rub on there of the Carolina chicken and chop mixture that I had put on there. So I'll coat that really good and this will just add a nice little crunch to the ribs, a, a little crust that's just flavorful and delicious. You see those wood chips smoking back there. Now I will add our biggest selling accessory item, the half grid. Gives me some more cooking space. I'll use my favorite baked beans. I like the Bush's grilling beans. Add some barbecue sauce. You can put uh, mustard in there, diced onions, any seasonings you like. Maybe even lay a couple strips of bacon across the top. Now for my baked apples, I take my favorite apples and cut them into fourths or eighths. And I like to pour a little apple cider over those apples just to keep them moist and have a little liquid in there. Of course you want to top it with some brown sugar. It's going to be a great flavor when all that mixed together. Then I'll add some butter on the top uh, so that that will all melt together and make a delicious uh, baked apple sauce. So baked beans, grilled apples, you're going to have a complete rib dinner here. Cover them both with foil. Oh, these, these two items are going to take about somewhere in the area of 30 to 45 minutes. I let them cook with my ribs as they're finishing up. Just want to make sure the apples are soft. It gets them off the direct heat and, and it gives you more room because the half grid is like getting another half a grill. It's not just a warming rack. So I've got my ribs on the bottom and my baked apples and baked beans up top. Boy, those are going to be just delicious. The smell is incredible. Two big slabs of ribs, baked apples, baked beans. What a wonderful dinner. Close the lid and let it finish. After about 45 minutes, I think everything looks done, and those ribs are just out of this world. They just look wonderful there. That You can really see where the, the meat has started to pull away from the bones. That's going to mean they're nice and tender. I'll take the baked beans and baked apples off, remove my half grid. These are going to be hot, so use pot holders. Wow, look at that. The slab in the back, of course, has the barbecue sauce on it, and the one in front that I'm cutting now, that's got the dry rub. Look how tender those things are. Oh my gosh. Just a wonderful Sunday dinner on the Holland Grill. Baked apples, baked beans, and a slab of baby backs, all grilled on the versatile Holland Grill. Now let's summarize some of the things we did. The first step, close the drain valve, fill the drip pan with a gallon of liquid, light the grill, close the lid and preheat, put the ribs on when it starts steaming, add more water as you need it, open the drain to drain any remaining liquid, or let it boil out, but if you drain it, it's very hot. After the liquid is drained, add your smoked chips, close the lid and let it get back to temperature and you're ready to add your barbecue beans and baked apples.